Hi, this is Rich Lavens of Eurotherm by Watlow. And today we're gonna to do a quick tutorial on connecting a Nanodac to iTools over the ethernet cable. So, we've got a Nanodac here. We have our page key, our scroll key, and then our down and up buttons make parameter changes. So first thing we have to do is log into engineer. So I'll show you how to do that, I guess. Hit your page key. You come to this menu, up or down, log in, and then supervisor. I have a supervisor level. You may not. But when you get to engineer, hit the scroll key again, and it'll ask for your password. So I'm sure yours will be different than mine, but I have to hit some buttons here to get back through it. So once you get your password in, hit your page key again accept and yes so we have our menu over here actually you're pretty close you can use the up or down buttons but in this case we want to go to the network file hit enter and then interface and down here is your ip address so uh, if you want to change it hit your enter button and you can just enter the uh, the ip address you want so in my case i'll just kind of re-enter So once you get that there, now I had an interesting question uh, today. Uh, he said it wouldn't accept the last three digits of his part number. He was trying to enter um, 257. Uh, in an IP address, the highest number you can go on that last field is 255. So uh, it took me a minute to figure out what he had done. But again, your limit there is uh, 255. So in this case... We're going to do that. We're going to hit the page key again. And again, go to yes, and then hit enter. And now you can see my IP address has changed. So um, I'm going to pop back to iTools. And All right. So um, what I usually do is uh, the instrument address that we just put in has to be in the same sequence as your laptop's IP address, except for that last field. So what I usually do just to make sure communications are uh, working is I come into my search bar and I type CMD, which is command, and that's the command prompt. Drag this over. So right here, type in P-I-N-G and then a space and then the address to your instrument, which in my case is 192.168.1. 111.221. Enter. If all goes well, you'll get a reply back from that instrument pretty quickly. So in this case, I'm getting a reply. So I'm going to close this down. Um, if you do not get a reply, it is likely because your laptop or your PC's address is in a totally different sequence. So there's different ways to get here. I am not suggesting you change your laptop's uh, IP address because that can affect other things. But in this case, you may want to go in and at least see what your IP address is. So in my case, I'm going to say view network connections. It opens that up. Um, this is the... Uh, this is where my Ethernet cable is plugged in. So if I unplug it, you'll see there's an X there. And again, I can identify it by plugging it back in, and the X goes away. That's how I know which one I'm on. So now I'm enabled. If I left-click on this and go to Properties, there's Ethernet 3 Properties. I want to look for this Internet Protocol version 4 and hit Properties again. This is the IP address of my PC. So same sequence, 192.168.111, but the last field cannot be the same as the instrument. Uh, again, be really careful uh, changing this. Talk to your IT department if you have any questions because, uh, again, this can affect other things. So anyway, uh, just a word of warning. So in this case, I am pretty much good to go. Now we're going to go and open iTools Engineering Studio. <clears throat> so under the iTools folder, Engineering Studio, 
And this will take a second to populate. There we go. Uh, what I usually do is go to this Add button. If I click Add, there's the Nanodex sitting out there with the address we just put in a moment ago. Click on that. Hit OK. And in a few moments, it should go out and find that instrument and uh, populate it here on the screen. There it is. Up here in the upper left-hand corner, the two little arrows, the green and blue arrow, it, right now, it's synch synchronizing the instrument. You have to wait until that's synchronized and turns into this blue cube before you can start using iTools. Um, so that is the procedure. And again, now you can go into your graphical wiring and see what blocks and stuff are available. And again, that's probably a different video on the setup of this thing. But uh, that uh, should, should help you along getting the unit connected two iTools, and a PC using the Ethernet cables. Hope you find this helpful, but uh, drop us an email or uh, give us a call. Thank you so much.